Get on hot horse. It's very fine. It's like fine. Never break, always fight, never quit. We're right, every game, in your life, have no shame. There's no time for the pain. Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope that you guys are doing great. It's true that Bali is what most people have in mind when questioning about where to go for holidays in Indonesia. But in fact, there are many other interesting places that you guys can visit in Indonesia. So in this video, I'm going to take you around in Lombok Island. So now, let's get started. The question is how to get to Lombok and what transport modes can you take? You know, the Indonesian government has improved uh, its infrastructure. So it's a lot, lot easier to go to Lombok Island uh, than 10 years ago. There are a few options you can choose. The first option is you can go by plane or the second option is by a speedboat or a ferry and then you rent a, a taxi to go to your hotel destination. So let's say you are already in Bali, then I can recommend you taking a speedboat from Padang Pai to Singiki Harbor. It takes about one hour and 30 minutes. Bearing in mind that your speedboat ticket doesn't include pickup service from where you stay in Bali to Padang Bai Harbor, so you need to book a taxi to bring you to the harbor. And where to stay in Lombok? Well, there are many hotels that you can choose to stay from zero to five stars hotels in Lombok. Uh, in, it depends on your pref preference. In our case, we stayed in the Jayakarta Lombok Beach Resort and Spa in Sengigi. Uh, we have chosen this hotel because it has a shuttle bus service, so we didn't need to find a taxi when we arrived at Sengigi Harbor. So what will you do in Lombok? Well, there are plenty of activities that you can do when visiting Lombok. You know, you can relax by the pool where you stay, find a good spot to relax at the beach. You can also visit the indigenous house tribe so you get to know a bit of local culture. If you like snorkeling, then you can go to Kili Air and Kilimeno Islands. Either way, you can chill out, uh, party in Kili Trawangan Island. And if you are an adventurous person, you can hike the Rinjani. It is the second highest active uh, volcanoes in Indonesia. Here are some places in Lombok that I visited. Getting around in Singigi was good as uh, soon as we arrived in the city. The Singigi beach was a perfect place to relax, I would say. And to go to Singigi beach, uh, you can order a taxi if you are more than two person or motorbike taxi if you are alone through a local application and you can pay it in cash if you don't have cashless payment option. Also, uh, don't forget to give a bit of extra cash for the driver. You know, in, in, in Indonesia, the taxi uh, fare is available or fairly cheap as compared to the other uh, uh, countries, for example, Malaysia or Singapore. For us, we ordered a taxi and paid cash. Singigi Beach has its white and black sand. The beach in front of hotel where I stay has its black sand and I don't think that swimming in this area is recommended because I didn't see people swimming. However, I could chill and enjoy the sunset. Hello everyone, we are now heading to Gili Air. Gili Air is a very nice uh, island and it's a um, it's white one. It's very good uh, for snorkeling. For those who are like or who are fond of snorkeling, you have to go there, right? Going to Gili Air and Gili Meno for snorkeling are perfect activities while visiting Lombok. As we were in a group of more uh, than 12 people, we booked a boat for one day and two uh, guides. Taking a boat from Bangsal in Singigi to Gili Aron, Gili Meno, and even to Gili Trawangan for relaxing and partying. First stop was in Gili Air Island for snorkeling, where we saw some fishes, corals, and we got on the boat again to sail to Gili Meno Island to see the turtles for sure. <laughs> Oh, 
excuse. Attends. Voilà. Je t'ai filmé là. C'est nous, Sacha et Sonia. On est on a son ensemble. We swim together. And this one, our guide also, swim together. We are waiting for the turtle. Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> Ça c'est l'équipe qui veut pas mettre au déjeuner oui. Salut Il est où le tout Le tout Le tout Le tout Allo à And finished exploring Gili Air and Meno, we went to Gili Trawangan where we had our Indonesian and European lunch. Now we are going from this boat to this. Yay! Look at this. <laughs> so, welcome to Gili uh, Trawangan, guys. We are going to have lunch and then we uh, do some other activities. The senior? Yeah. Okay, so uh, this is our place. It's already booked. So. Uh, guys, uh, I'm going to show you. Uh, <laughs> this is our uh, reserve table with batik clothes. And this is prepared. Well, it's already prepared. Yeah. <laughs> So after uh, you know ha uh, having done um, our snorkeling uh, and uh, seeing these uh, turtles, we had our lunch and after that uh, chill out a bit. Some guys watch the uh, badminton uh, match at Korean Open 2023. And after having had co our coffee and crabs, now we are uh, cycling uh, around this island. So this is quite easy here. Uh, you ran 50 baht, uh, 50,000 uh, rupiah, and uh, it's valid for one day. Even though you just use like for one minute, you pay the same, 50,000 rupiah. It's quite comfortable anyway. As you, as you can see here, the right hand side is the, uh, uh, the, uh, the beach with white sand around. And the left hand side is just normal. So this is a garbage. I would say, oh no, uh, this uh, this is so difficult. Uh, I can't push my bike because there's so much sand. <laughs> Allez, <laughs> c'est pas possible de faire vélo là. Yeah. So I have to walk with my bike because it's impossible for me to to push the, the pedal as uh, so much sun uh, on the street. So yeah, it's like this. A 
you know, some places in Kilitawa, some spots, I would say, there are many, plenty of tourists. And uh, yeah, some places like now here, you don't see uh, many people or tourists around here. So this is right, quite good, you know, to, uh, to chill out, to have a kind of like privacy, but it's not like privacy. So, some cyclists around, I love Yuri Tarawan. It's so good. Oh, some tourists also take get on a horse. So what you see in front in this video is Mataram. And Mataram from Gili Tarawan. After lunch, it's time to chill for everyone. Some of us are cycling around, like me, and some uh, are uh, swimming. I find that cycle around the island was very cool. I could see, you know, a few spots uh, where people can chill. And of course, it's very hot. So make sure that you are well protected with sun cream, hat and uh, long sleeves while cycling, as well as, you know, sunglasses. It's very convenient to bike around this island. And for me, you know, it was more or less than 30 minutes uh, to see around the island with a bike. Another interesting activity uh, is going to Tanjung Aan Beach where you can swim or surf or just, you know, relax. And on the way to the beach, you can stop over in the traditional village of indigenous people of Lombok. This is the Sasak traditional village, namely Saade, where the local indigenous people of Lombok live in. We visited this village so that we learned about their culture and tradition, also about the fundamental of their housing construction. From Singigi to this village, it took us just about one hour and 15 minutes driving. To store the rice, okay. All uh, farming here. Oh, look something. Farming. Ah. So five family in one rice storage. Mm. Five family for yeah, one storage for five family. So men are farming and now the women are weaving. They made sarong. So before only farming, they live from farming. Uh, this is one of the activities for the women in uh, the village. They make this, uh, make they they wave, and then it becomes sarong or ikat. I would say uh, this is the pro the final product. But if you don't want to tell So this is very short, the house and the grass, yes. Wow, wow, wow. 
Mereka bikin kainnya namanya ikat kan ya? Iya. Yeah, ikat, ikat ikat lombok. Iya. Yeah, tapla, tapla. That's the cotton trees. They grow here. Open, open ni. Yeah. This is cotton. Ah, oh, eh? si kan, si si kot, kot, kotong. Oh. And then the make rice. Okay. This is how they make the. It's already already dry. Young. Like this. Also, they grow cotton here on the field. Aha. Cotton. This is the motif where they uh, uh, produce from the cotton that they a commercial brick to tell her. <laughs> wow, that's good. Ah, where? This is. This Oh, the semen is from the. Yeah, the buffalo. Inside is a two room. We can so, grow it? Yeah, kitchen for the girl. Kitchen, this is the... Father and mother, and this is the boys. Oh. Inside is the this kitchen and for the girl. The room they live in, this all the same kids. room. And the kitchens place? also yeah. use the, the for, house. you know, cooking, and also yeah. for the room for their girl. And it's quite dark, yeah. we cannot see anything. <laughs> wow, it's amazing. From uh, They all sleep. I mean, the fathers and. Uh, oh, merci. Oh, maintenant. Oh, là là. Merci. Ouais, ouais. So they live and they sleep together here on this floor. A father, mother, and the son. And behind, as you have seen before, there was a kitchen and the the bedroom for the. Uh, female uh, uh, the daughter I would say so the daughter sleeps in the kitchen every month they change the I mean the the, the, the floor with the you know with the shit of the cows and the special uh, soil and they uh, put on the floor like this and then it will prevent uh, the house from uh, producing some dust uh, some dust so well uh, that's a good question. So we were asking about where are they uh, going to take shower. So here is the shower room for uh, everybody. So they use well, right. the well, the water, and then yeah. and they take shower here it's in the open air. Open air like this. So it sounds cool, huh? <laughs> So there, in this village, there are five uh, well like this for those people. This uh, the households to take a shower there. Yeah. Long grass. Long grass. Yes. Yeah, I need, yeah. Wow, they prepare long grass and uh, they change the roof because the roof is made of the long grass. Every eight or ten years they uh, remove it and change to new one. So during summer the long grass uh, prevent them from getting the heat. So it's quite amazing. Chalanya dari bebatuan, wow. No pavic stone, but they have a uh, river stone from the volcano for the mountain. <laughs> so. Hello. So this village is very unique. 
and before they don't use the electricity and now they have it so TV and uh, refrigerator I guess that they are inside but I don't I don't see uh, the refrigerator in their uh, houses so perhaps uh, only in the shop but it's very good to see they what they make here I never really know what's going on. there was no entrance ticket and fixed price for the guide however visitors are requested to prepare some cash that uh, they can insert it into a wooden cash box after filling out the gas book you know if you are in a group of more than two people uh, then let one of you write the name country you are from and so on and cash for the guide uh, you can hand it in to him directly after the tour is done well after visiting the traditional village we headed to Tanju A'an beach it was only 30 minutes driving and almost none when we arrived here. It's true that there was not many tourists around the beach and I didn't know why. The Tanjung A'an beach has two types of beaches with its white sand where one has normal sand and the other one is very fine. It's like fine sugar. Few small warons selling local food and beverages as I was there, I saw fresh coconut fruit was one of the preferred fruits for tourists. At this beach, you can really enjoy yourself. Swimming is safe, but still, you are requested to be careful because there are some reefs. After enjoying the sunset, we went back to our hotel for dinner. Our local driver was just amazing. Another interesting thing that you can do while visiting Lombok is that hiking the Rinjani mountain. From our hotel in Singingi to Kandang Sapi as our starting point of hiking, it took about two hours driving. Rinjani, as I mentioned earlier, is an active volcano and it is the second highest volcano in Indonesia. The altitude is 3,726 meters above the sea level. It's possible to hike within two days if you don't have much time left. This means you will have to start hiking during daytime and taking a rest a few hours at the camping area. You will have to wake up at 2 a.m. to start trekking till the summit to catch up and see the sunrise and then going back down to the camping area for your breakfast before continuing to descend to the starting point which is Kandang Sapi. It's also important to note that hiking the Rinjani mountain is limited to 250 persons per day so make sure you reserve your place through your local guide in advance so that you won't miss the chance. So the hiking videos are available on this channel and if you want to watch them all, you can find out the link here or find out the links in the description below, right? And I hope that you like this information and now you know that there are many other interesting places that you can visit in Indonesia, right? And if this is your first time finding or watching my YouTube channel, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also uh, activate or click the, the upper most bell icon so that you will get the notification once a new video is uploaded. All right, thanks a lot for watching this video and supporting my YouTube channel. And um, if you have any questions, comments, please drop down in the comment section. All right, till here, I'm Didi Lojawani. See you again next time. Ciao.